Hi, and welcome to Anger Points. I'm Tony, your host, and in this lesson, we are going to be talking about walking in truth, continuing our series in walking. So let's get into it. Last week, we talked about walking in the Spirit, and this week, I want to continue our series in walking uh, in our Christian life, right? It's, it's necessary that, that we walk in our Christian life. And as we continue to walk, there are several areas that we walk in that will allow us to maybe be better uh, at what we're trying to accomplish in our Christian walk in life. So as we consider uh, walking in truth, uh, can, can we walk in truth? And uh, I'm going to say right up front, yes, we can. But uh, at the end, I have four or five things that I want to share with you that as, as, we, uh, as we talk about the truth, um, that we can, can continue to walk in that truth. Um, in the passage that, we, uh, that I want to look at today, we have a woman at the well, a Samaritan woman. Uh, it was a half-breed uh, Jew and a Gentile. And they were not looked highly upon. Uh, but Jesus, in John chapter 4, says, I must needs go to Samaria. And in Samaria, he met with this gal uh, at the well and was talking to her about the living water and hi him being that water and being able to take on something that he would have and uh, that he could provide for people uh, that can give them life, right? And we, we as Christians believe in having that understanding of, uh, of Jesus giving us life through salvation. So as we, um, as we get started here, uh, if you've liked the channel in the past, uh, let's, uh, if you don't mind subscribing if you haven't yet, uh, hitting that like button, that bell notification, and sharing it with somebody that might be a help. And in the comments below, uh, think about uh, what kind of topics you would like to learn. I'm, I'm thinking about adding another uh, uh, segment to this channel, trying to uh, just get more truth out there. Uh, so. With that being said, let's look at John chapter number 4, verses 23 and 24. It's the end of this discourse with this uh, woman at the well. John 4, 23 and 24. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In 3 John Verses 3 and 4 says, For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came to testify the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Uh, isn't that a testament? I, I absolutely love those verses. <clears throat> Jesus is talking to us. The Bible is really showing to us uh, that we can walk in truth. The truth is very vital to our lives as Christians. Um, it's the source. It's the source of what we are trying to accomplish in our life. Uh, so what is truth? Right? There's a lot of information in our world today, and especially with our <clears throat> with the onset of uh, information and the technology that we have with the information and all these things that are added together, uh, there is uh, a just so much out there. Can we know the truth? Can we truly uh, know what is right and what is wrong? What is truth? Well, in Psalms 119, 160, uh, thy word is truth from the beginning and everyone that righteous judgments endureth forever. John 17, 17 says, and Jesus is praying, praying to the Lord, praying to the Father, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So as we consider the scriptures and we consider um, what we are doing as Christians, truth is found in the scriptures. It is found within the Bible. Uh, there, the Bible is very uh, foundational in anything we say or do. I have no authority outside the scriptures. I have nothing to say outside the scriptures. But I have a biblical worldview. And I, when I look at the things of life and I look, I want to make sure that I'm right. I, as a person, as a man, am infallible. I'm going to make mistakes. But if I allow God's word to be in my life, I can be true. I can be right. Right? So a couple questions for you. Uh, and you can put these in the comments below. But uh, do you respect God's word? Or in other words, can you respect God's word? In what ways can you? Uh, do I allow God's word to be my authority? Right? I, I was asked about a political stance. And I, and I 
I really just said I have a biblical worldview on things and because that's the source of truth, right? Uh, do I allow God's word to change my behavior? If I'm reading God's word and it tells me not to lie, do I stop lying? It tells me not to steal. Do I stop stealing? Uh, do I allow God's word to be that authority in my life? Allowing him to work in my life. Right? We, a couple weeks ago, and I, I'll put a thing up here, a uh, tag. Uh, we talked about sanctification. Being sanctified is that day in and day out, looking to Jesus, looking to the things of the Lord, and doing what's right with him. It's interesting to note that... Uh, Jesus is the Word, right? So if we believe in the Word, we believe in Jesus. John 1, 14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, and the glory of the only begotten gotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 1 John 1, 1 through 4 says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon, and our hands have handled, and the Word of life, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it. And we bear witness and show it unto the eternal life, which is with the Father and manifested unto us, that which we have seen and heard and declare we unto you, that you may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship was with the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write unto you that your joy may be full. Right? At the beginning of those verses, is this, it's at the beginning, right? We've heard. they seen with their hands. They were able to touch Jesus, look upon him, the word of life. Jesus gave us the word of life, and today, in 2020, I'm, in, I'm sitting in July 2020, I have the words of truth from uh, the Bible. Well, how do I know the Bible's true? I think there's a couple barometers I think you can take when it comes to um, having uh, faith and confidence in God's word. Uh, number one, uh, if we take the word of God into our life and practice it, it's going to work. And then number two, uh, the test of time. Throughout all generations, we can look at the Bible and we can, many people have tried to disprove the Bible and they can't. And while we look at the scriptures for our, for our lifestyle, for faith and practice, for how I treat people and, and all these uh, things that I, I need to do in my own life, right? So I have five things here I want to share with you as we start to close this down. Um, and maybe you can come up with your own. Put in the comments below of what you uh, would like um, maybe put into these categories, I would say. So considering the, con the truth, as Christians, uh, we must submit to the truth. We must submit to the Word of God. Um, number one, I think we need to search for the truth. If you, I, I, I have a, a lyric in my mind of somebody was singing, if in part of the song, somebody mentions, if you don't search for the truth, how are you going to find it? If I'm not looking, while I believe that there's divine appointments, I believe that God sends people to us. I believe that, that just like we saw at the woman at the well, that was an appointed time. Jesus needed to be with that woman at the well and allowing uh, that appointed time to take place. Okay, uh, so number one, we need to search for the truth. Number two, we need to have the source of the truth, right? Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, so it's okay for us Christians to be accountable to the Word of God. It's okay for us Christians to uh, be having this source, source of truth, okay? Uh, the third thing, and I've mentioned this on several occasions, uh, and where we talk about study the truth. Study the, the Word of God. Be a student of God's Word. Be a student of the things of God. Why do we do the things we do today? Why is baptism important? Why is salvation important? Why is church membership important? Why is prayer important? All these different elements in our lives. Why are these things important? Number four, submit to the truth. I, I briefly mentioned it at the beginning where we consider the truth of God. We consider the things of God. Am I, is it going to change my life? Am I going to be able to submit to that? Nobody's perfect. And there are some areas in my life I wish I could, I could do better in. But think about it, right? So just take the Ten Commandments, right? There's something that we're familiar with. 
Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt bear not false. Uh, bear not. Uh, was it? Thou shalt not bear false witness. Covet. So, and, and there's other things in the scriptures where I, I need to be able to look at the scripture and say, you know, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm not doing these things, and submitting to God's word. Right. Uh, we are workmanship and created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Right. But God is not going to elevate us until we submit ourselves, and that's found in James chapter four. Right? Draw nigh to God, He'll draw nigh to you. Cleanse the hands, ye sinners, and purify your minds, ye double minded. Right? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. So, as we consider God's word, we consider the things of God, can we really see or submit to it? So, number one, search the truth. Number two, source of the truth. Number three, study the truth. Number four, submit to the truth. And finally, number five, Share the truth. Share it to other people. Share it with other Christians. Talk about it. And it's not so much that I'm giving the gospel and it has to be um, something that is in my life that it's all I talk about. But have some conversations about the truth. Take the word of God and put it into your life and how and talk to other people in your life, other Christians and you know other people that are, are around you in your circle of influence. Can we talk about the truth? Is it necessary to talk about the truth? I think this would allow others to see the truth. So one last request in the comments below. If you were to see truth, if you were to see somebody walking in truth, what would that be? Would we, can we see, right? So the, the, the whole point of this, of this channel, and I've mentioned, I mention it quite often, is we want to anchor every area of our life in Christ. I want to anchor my life in Christ, right? So we anchor points. Anchoring. What's the point that I, what points in my life are not anchored? Can I look to the scriptures, submit to God's word, share it, talk about it, feel God's word? I have so much that I want to share uh, with this walk series. Walking. What are we walking in? So we talked about walking in the spirit. We've talked about walking in truth and uh, I have several other things that are uh, coming up. I'm super excited about that. As we look to the scriptures and we anchor every area of our life in Christ. I thank you for being here. Thank you for taking this time. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.